extra, extra read all about it. Welcome to Born Without Boundaries, guys. It is time for your weekend romance oracle and tarot, tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Thank you so much. If you're just discovering my channel, please subscribe and click that bell so you know when I go live. I go live basically five days a week. Um, I thank you so much for all the support you guys always give. Know that there's going to be extended readings, one big extended reading for all signs that's time stamped over on Vimeo. You can see the link below. Um, if you're on a platform that allows for commercials, please bear through one in a couple of seconds. Uh, there will not be one afterward, um, but there's going to be one in about five seconds. I just want you to know that that's, your, that's a donation to the channel, essentially. You're really supporting the channel by um, a bearing through the commercials. So thank you so much. It's coming up in three, two, one. I will see you soon. For those of you who just sat through an awkward pause, <laughs> thank you so much. For all of you who's come back after the commercial, also, thank you so much. Um, I am whispering this morning because it's early where I am. I wanted to get this video out a lot earlier than I usually do. Um, I kind of indulge Saturday mornings and I let myself go back to bed, but not today. Today is a very good day. My puppy comes today. I see my friends today. I'm getting my nails did today. I'm getting all kinds of shit happening today. Today is a very good day. It is a full moon energy day let's let's just lap in the love and luxury so I'm gonna do a full tarot card spread here and then I'm gonna do a uh, uh, for for your weekend romance and then I'm gonna break it up by zodiac sign over there okay let's do this weekend romance actually no I'm gonna start with the oracle cards over here too let's do weekend romance vibes let's do this Weekend Romance Vibes for October 12th through the 13th, 2019 for all signs, general love and romance reading. Today is a very good day. Today is an energized day. Today is a full moon day. If you guys get a chance, please do look up that video. It's a full moon energy video that I did for all signs. I'll attach the link below. Weekend Romance. Weekend Romance. What are the romance vibes today? What are the romance vibes today? What can we expect general energies for romance on this beautiful, romantic, sexiest day? Oh, look at all the cards is coming out. Oh, they flipping. Mm. Mm. Uh, let's see. Any more? Yep. Let's start with these, and if I need clarification, that's what I'll do. Oh, ooh, somebody's gonna sing to you, and it's gonna be deep. You know, at first, oh, oh, okay. All right, all right. Energy crowning, oh, wow. Wow, and yes, I will turn the camera around so that you can see. This weekend, if you meet somebody, it has been divinely, divinely orchestrated, divinely guided. And I can tell you right now, Crow's spirit is telling you that you need to follow your instincts as in that, because instincts and intuition is how spirit really communes directly to you. Listen to songs. I just had a conversation about this with a, with a beautiful viewer about how songs are so important to um, spirit communicating with you. So listen to songs, listen for signs. Spirit is going to be communicating to you loud and clear over this weekend. Please listen to spirit because if you meet somebody this weekend, if you're having whatever relationship situation you're in, spirit is going to be coming through loud and clear and communicating with you, communicating with you to help you through any issues you're having or help guide you. Forget about issues. Let's forget about that. Help guide you through any situation or any um yeah help guide you almost like your gps system it's spirit is there with you this weekend it is there with you shining bright and oh my god did i not say this in the scorpio video i'll attach that one above too the scorpio video you are the light in the dark and do you see that here is raven the raven totem the raven in native american language native american culture 
is the animal that carried the light out of the dark. And you can see that he holds it right here in his heart and his voice. So this weekend, the light in the dark is that Aries full moon, the light in the dark. There, in other words, is hope where you thought there was no hope. There actually is going to be illumination where you thought things were dead. There's going to be a rebirth of a situation. So for some situations in love that could have been strained, that could have been hard, that could have been more difficult, if you've been single for a very, very long time, this weekend is an extremely romantic, loving, emotional weekend. Know that it's an emotional weekend, guys, especially if you're in a long-term relationship, because that means that emotions are running high and people may do things that are like off keel and react in emotional ways, especially if they're water signs that they would not normally behave in. That could go right and wrong, right? That could be like, they would be, they'll be more amorous and they'll be more adoring and they'll be more sexual. So if you're single, know that you could be getting some interest from people who may not be around as long as you want them to be just because everything is so emotional. But I would say ride the tide of emotion and just enjoy the attention and the affection and the emotion. That's one thing. But I would say it's like, I would say most most of this message, this spiritual like um, this spiritual message coming through for love and romance is there's going to be a light in the dark. There's going to be hope shining where it didn't shine through. There's going to be light shining where there wasn't. So this could be a reconciliation. Okay, this could be a reconciliation with somebody that you're in an argument with. I would not say full on X. I think that if exes are emerging and calling you during this weekend, it is that hyper-sexualized, very emotional, people are probably all up in their feels, and you might want to red flag that. Um, also, your behavior, like in terms of you and your emotions, you may be, if you just got out of a relationship especially, uh, more inclined to want to be amorous immediately to somebody that you already feel comfortable with, and so you might be tempted to you know, slip that DM in at two o'clock in the morning, call up somebody, don't make the call, don't make the DM, not to an ex, not to an ex, to anybody else that there could be some at least nice, hot sexual energy with, go ahead, live your life, feel your feelings. But of course, always be safe, just saying. Um, but always, 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 Think twice before you decide to DM that ex. And some people may be coming out of the dark to DM you or to call you. And you might not want to take it that seriously is what I'm warning you and saying. Because this is a very romantic and passionate moon. And it could just be the moon. So I'm just letting you know. For other people who have been single for a very, very, very long time. This weekend could offer some hope and real amorous breakthroughs for you, a light in the dark. And, and I'll say this, it's spiritually guided. This is what I was starting to discuss at the top of this reading. This is spiritually guided. It's divine. It is um, a unique partnership is coming your way or definitely things that are starting to show you that breakthroughs are happening. Like, you know, um, romantic songs, your favorite romance songs on the radio or your favorite rom-com coming up on Netflix like it hasn't been there before or showing on television or you skimming through, the, you know, you skimming through the TV and all of a sudden this romance, you know, hallmark romance that normally would not suck you in. It's just sucking you in. Like those kind of things are telling you that you're ready for love and that love is ready for you. So this is the energy that's crowning this reading, that hope in the dark, that light. Let's, let's not call it hope. Let's say that light in the dark, that dawning, that coming out of the dark. And it's very, very vocal. The heart is going to be expressed this week weekend um, by words, by amorous words, by people saying, I love you, by people speaking to you, like by, by the spoken word or music is going to play a big role in how messages are communicated. To be honest with you, this is such a passionate moon. I would not try to speak. Instead, I would use a sing a song, sing a song to somebody that you love or request a song over the radio. This is a good 
This is a very good weekend to call up a radio station and request a personal dedication. Just saying. I don't know if you kids do that anymore, but you could send somebody a link for um, a YouTube video of, of a favorite romantic song. Just giving you some ideas. Trust in divine detours. So this is going to be somebody that you normally would not expect to fall in love with or to be attracted to. Like, like I said, that could just be the passionate energy of the moon. And if you can keep it not so personal, go for it, do it. But also this could be your opportunity to break through and actually meet somebody or treat somebody that you're already with in a way that surprises them and makes them feel loved. Now, what this also could be talking about is if you get a call that says, I really need you to make a delivery this weekend from your job and, and you're like, I don't work on the weekends or whatever, oh, I'll pay you overtime, but do it. Say yes. Because when this card comes up, it's saying that universe, spirit, God, whatever pronoun or word you want to plug in for it is your GPS system. So please, please, please trust it when it reroutes you this weekend. It is going, spirit is going to reroute you this weekend. Let it reroute you. Do not question it because that rerouting, like that boo, that beautiful full moon boo is going to be on a path that you normally would not have taken. That is divine intervention. And if spirit divinely intervenes so that you don't get to spend time with an ex or a person who the relationship was waning and, and is, they're hurting you a lot, trust, trust. Don't get mad. Don't get upset. The spirit is already saying, Michelle, you need to tell these people, don't, don't curse me. Don't curse me because I'm loving them unconditionally. I'm here for them. So trust that if it doesn't work out this weekend, it was because spirit literally ran interference. They ain't cock blocking. Spirit don't cock block. Spirit don't block no cocks unless those cocks don't belong anywhere near you. You understand? And that's what we got to be very grateful for. So preemptively, this is spirit coming in and saying, I'm your GPS system this weekend. Do not worry. I have got your back. Let me take the wheel. I am going to be driving for you. If I take you to a place where you normally wouldn't go, it is because you are actually meant to be there. So trust in those divine detours today. Claim your independence. Hold on. Okay. Let's feel a little bit better. Claim your independence. This could very well be a message about that saying, and cat is very playful energy. So for those singles out there, be happy to be single. Be proud of who you are. Be walk into a room like a bad, but like a badass. You know, uh, like a cat would, almost like you don't care. Don't sit there and be looking for something to happen. When you look for something to happen, it kind of emanates a desperation that is going to attract the wrong sort of people, the people who would take advantage of you. So be like a cat today. Take on the energy today and tomorrow. Take on the energy of cat and just be playful. Go into every situation loving yourself, knowing that, the fact that you entered the room is the only person you need in the room. There's going to be a lot of opportunity to be worshipped and adored and people noticing you and thinking that you're extremely sexy. Lap it up. You don't have to look back. I'm going to attach this quote to my community page. I just saw something from Tina Poehler. Um, not Tina, but Tina Poehler. Tina Fey, Amy Poehler. I just shipped their name. Fuck. Um, from Amy Poehler. If it's the joke's not funny, you don't have to laugh at it. That's what she said. If his joke is not funny, you don't have to laugh at it. So you know what I'm saying? Like claim your space, claim your passionate, beautiful self. Understand that you don't have to, you're not obligated to give attention back to people who you really aren't vibing with. If this person is a divine detour, one of those spiritual spirit guided uh, intersections, then you're not going to doubt it. You know what I'm saying? You're not, you're not going to doubt it. You're going to feel it immediately. But this is reminding you, you don't have to like respect yourself first. 
Claim your independence from any kind of past relationship or past upset or past hurt or person that doesn't treat you right. And also claim your independence from that feeling of obligation that just because someone's looking at you, you have to look at them. Cat's like, mm, I really don't. Thanks so much. That's the kind of, that's the kind of um, confidence and self worth that you have to assume this weekend while everybody else is going to be all amorous and want to touch you in places you may not want to be touched. You know what I'm saying? Like still keep that vibe of, but I'm valuable and no, I got to choose you too. FYI. But there's also this, I'll, I'll show you. I'll, when I turn the camera around, I'll point it out. But the cat spirit card is almost looking at the coyote card. So these are the, it's almost like what the energy of that independent self-loving energy is. The one thing it's aware of and paying attention to is spirit and the direction that spirit is sending it on. So even for those people out there who are like, I'm single, I don't want to be anything else. Your internal guidance system is going to be locked on where spirit direction, I'm telling you some signal lights are going to go up this week, this weekend. Um, uh, when it comes to being re redirected, I'm just letting you know that learn from the past. Mm. So there's a lot of X situations going on here. I'm telling you, there is a lot of X situations. There's a lot of X's that are going to creep out of the closet, walk out of the old work. They're just going to be like, Hey, so I've been thinking about you. And you're going to be like, I know you have because I'm sexy as yes. and you're going to hang up like that's what you're going to do because you've learned from the past and you know that the past is not where you live. If you want abundance now, like I said, your GPS is on point this weekend. So if you want love to be delivered to your now where you are right now. You have to stop putting all your energy and focus into the past because energy and focus is what directs all those blessings and abundance that spirit is trying to send us. And if your focus and energy, it's not where your body is, it's where your focus and energy is. That's how we manifest things. If your focus and energy is in the past, it's like you're marking your GPS, your home, your home location for where to have that abundance delivered. You're marking that. You're pinning it in the past. So all your abundance is going to keep being delivered there. And then you're going to keep being angry. Spirit, why don't you ever deliver me abundance? It is delivering you abundance. But because all your focus is in the past, it's going to the wrong address. Your focus has to be in the present, in the here and now, based on everything that you learned from the past. Please watch out with those exes trying to creep out of some dark, deep hole or grave that they were supposed to be buried in. Because this is not that resurrective energy. This is the zombie energy. It's still dead, but it wants to bite ya. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Be aware. Be aware and learn. Learn. Also, know you don't have to do an ex. You don't have to call an ex. You don't have to text them. And you don't have to entertain if they call or text you because there's going to be so many new opportunities just spilling over this weekend. Lots of passionate people. If you want to hook up, you're going to be able to find one. Trust the great mystery. A reiteration of, of course, trust spirit and trust divine guidance and trust those that intuitive, those, those feelings inside of you that run very, very deep and run very, very pure. Trust it. You'll know. You'll know right away. Your intuition will be like, nope, do not question it. Other things, your intuition will be like, wow, trust it. Trust it. Trust the songs that come on and start to play. Don't trust your ego. Don't let your ego. This isn't about your ego. This is about intuition. When the moon is full, this is full on high priestess material. This is about listening. That, that only voice that you listen to is your heart and your gut. Your intuition is going to speak to you this weekend. You must pay attention. Also, for some of you, and this is a more, a smaller group. There is a deep connection that's going to be for. There is something very deep and very, very powerful that's going to happen this week, this weekend. Yes, yes, very deep and very powerful. And it could be unraveling emotions that have kept you down or have kept you tethered to the past. It could be talking about or discussing, like getting engaged in a conversation um, 
that helps you like like all of a sudden just ugly cry at the bar or in the middle of the club and you don't even know why you're doing it well do it let yourself have that beautiful emotional break because it's it's a way that spirit is trying to push you forward and it's a breakthrough that's happening to prepare you for a beautiful beautiful connection where somebody can actually be deeply connected to you and it's not just going to be shallow um, lizard spirit, dream the world into being. Do you see? This is another reiteration of direct where you want spirit to send your abundance. Because there's the past, looking backward, that ghost, that shadow of a skull of the, what is dead, having their eyes fixed on what is past. And then there's this little lizard, this tiny little playful thing, also fire energy. Two totems that are also in the traditional Rider Waite deck. The cat always sits by, I think it is, the cat always sits by the queen of wands and the lizard always sits by the king of wands. And the reason why is because both of these totems are associated with being playful, being energized, being life ridden with life, so much life and spark and confidence that they don't look back into the past. You know this lizard sheds its skin and it don't think about it again. That's what it's saying. Shed the past like a lizard sheds its skin so that it's over with and it's not a part of you anymore. The little lizard is looking toward the future. The skull is looking to the fat past. If you want dead things in your life, you're gonna have this focus. If you want alive and living and thriving and things that have room to grow, see that he's on things that are growing. He's on things that are growing and antenna connected to uh, spirit. Then you want to have that lizard spirit. You want to stay fun and playful and forward thinking. But this is a great time to understand that you're being set up this weekend to manifest all that deep connection, that deep deep connection that you have the potential to make between Scorpio season and the beginning of 2020, a deep connection, that connection that is divinely orchestrated, divinely guided, um, divinely set up. It's, a, it's like spirit got you both numbers and set the two of you up. So that's already happening and you need to make room for it. Remember the full moon, it's fiery energy. It brings out so much passion in people, but it's about letting go. And the reason why you're going to let go, there's a lot of past people thinking in the past, in the past, in the past, let it go. Why? Because you actually have a deep, beautiful connection coming in. And this is the weekend to make room for it. All right. There's also a message coming through of cycles closing up. So you may be finishing up a job that you maybe you were hooking up with somebody at work and you thought it was love, but you see as the job is dwindling, so is the relationship. Let it go. Um, you may be in a relationship, like I said, that's been a long time, but you had felt it dwindling. Let it go. Like let something new flow in. Let it flow in. And that even could be, I, it could be, um, you having a conversation or you guys making a breakthrough. If you're inspired to have a deep conversation about how you really feel, if there's somebody who usually represses their emotions, they're going to come out this week. I'm just letting you know, it's not this week, this weekend, they're going to come out there. If somebody had, you guys have been upset, it's either your emotions or their emotions. Oh, the conversation is going to happen. If you're in a relationship that you love this person and you want to make it work, this is a conversation that needs to happen and it's going to happen this weekend. It's a deep conversation. It's not an easy conversation, but it's a necessary conversation and it's going to help you a great deal. Nightingale spirit is our last totem. And what a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful message this is. Sing sweet nightingale, sing sweet nightingale. Remember that? That song, it was from Cinderella and she was singing it while she was scrubbing floors. The day before everything happened to her, no, it was the morning of everything was happening to her and her life was going to change. So expect that energy to be happening this full moon. Over the next two or three days this weekend, on this weekend romance, you're being set up. This is the time right before your life is going to change. So sing your song and sing it clear. 
go to karaoke. This could be actually literal. Get up and perform. Let, in other words, let yourself be seen and let yourself be heard. You don't want to hide yourself or who you are anymore. Your voice is going to be coming through loud and clear. Your vibrations are going to be coming through loud and clear. If you have been in hiding, if you have been in hibernation and slumber, wake up my little one, wake up, start singing your song. Also start listening. It's always a two-way street, right? Romance and love is always a two-way street. So like I said, pay attention to those songs, pay attention to other people's music, other people's music as in the sound of their voice. If they're the ones getting up to sing karaoke, their vibe, pay attention to those things all of those receptors in you are going to be on high, high um, um, sensitivity this weekend. So I just feel this energy of this person communicating with you. Maybe through a song, maybe through some just this communication starting to happen that is all about spiritual vibes and vibing high and listening to this song coming through or the voice be share your voice with people this weekend share it if you're somebody who's normally shy get up there get up there and sing that karaoke song or get not literally but you know let your voice be heard talk to people in other words you're going to have confidence if normally you didn't like to speak to guys or girls you're going to have the confidence to do it this weekend there's going to be such passionate fiery energy fueling your lust or your sexuality, that you're going to be speaking to people that you normally wouldn't speak to. And that could be the divine detour in and of itself, that you're doing things that you normally wouldn't do. But you know what? And listen, if spirit is coming through, oh, you feel that pink light coming in? I just felt it, okay? It's like rose-colored glasses. What? Uh-huh. <laughs> um, if you feel, um, If you feel a warning, listen to it. Don't go there. Don't do it. Because the war, like I said, this is divine detour. Spirit is guiding you. It may not want you to go somewhere because you're meant to stay because somebody's going to come around the corner. You know what I'm saying? So listen to it. I'm not saying do things that make you feel uncomfortable. I'm saying don't be surprised that you all of a sudden feel comfortable or feel like you have the confidence to do things that you didn't have confidence to do before. Enjoy the full moon, y'all. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera around so I can go through things with you. Okay. Hello. So this is the energy. This is the rainbow of energy that we have for our, roman for our romance and love this week. I say this weekend. I keep saying this week. But I think it's just because I'm lazy. I'm sorry, guys. Up here. And do you see that there are only a few animals looking to the future, Right? Crow, crow spirit, spirit itself is saying, look to the future and trust my guidance. I'm going to direct you that deep dive energy of trust in the divine, trust in my guidance, trust in what your emotions are telling you. I'm going to speak to you through your emotions and your intuition, trust it and use your voice, have that deep conversation. It's going to move you forward right past like, bam smash through the memories of the dead and into the future, into the future. See, lizard is looking to the future and so is nightingale. These are all future moving, forward moving energies. Here you have elephant as the stop between all those energies that would look back. Stop. Remember the past. And this is the order it came out in, right? And if you're interested in reading tarot, just so that you know, you don't just look at the meaning of the cards. You trust in, in their intuitive meaning for you, but you also trust in the imagery on the cards as a part of the message. Elephant stopped this, this um, retrospective looking energy. Stopped it. And it's elephant's message is learned from the past. Elephants never forget. But they never forget because they've learned their lesson. They're not stuck in the past because they've learned from it. And so they stand on the boulders that other people would be stuck behind. And they help that they allow the past and the challenges that they've gone through to let them rise above and to um, reach another level because they're standing 
on their past. They're standing on it because they use it as um, some way to level up by learning. When you learn from your past, you use it as a way to level up. So it's energy, really that earth grounding energy coming in to say no more past, no more looking in the past, no more looking backward. You're learning from what you experienced and newness is coming in. The whole mentality of this, this full moon is newness and freshness. Full moons are always the times that we let go of the past, right? Do your full moon ceremony, burn all those things that you just want out of your life. Let them go. Let them go by learning from them so that you can help propel your life forward. You see? These energies are looking back. We want to stop it. We want to stop it. And this energy, well, it's dead. And we have enough momentum to crush through it. In other words, while you're out playing and while you're out having a good time, you might be tempted to go back into a pattern, but you'll know it very clearly. You'll get the high red flag warning signal. Trust your intuition and push past it. You may be dealing with a Taurus. Um, a Taurus may come in and save your life. Yo, save your life. Sagittarius energy is here too. Sagittarius energy is here. Why? Because it's fire energy and it's playful energy. And we need to embody that playfulness and that happiness and that knowing how to have fun. What I also wanted to say about this full moon, this full moon in particular is a fiery full moon. It's an, a full moon in the zodiac sign of Aries which is the fieriest, the atomic, um, the, like, honestly, it's like that raw energy, atomic fire energy. What that means is it's all forward. This is the perfect time to let go of any exes or the past or clear out a relationship that is not working because of the full moon and because of the fire energy it's infused with. We want to let go of the past to think of the future. This full moon is telling you that your romance and your love is in the future, not in the past. So if exes sneak out or start to climb out of that closet like a zombie wanted to bite you, like literally shoot him in the head and put him down. Like not really, not literally, not literally. But like I'm talking about the, zomb the, the zombie, um, what the, hell? the zombie metaphor. That's what I'm talking about. Um, literally just let him stay dead. Let him stay dead because your happiness is actually in the future. And this is the way, do you see? This is the way that spirit is going to help you. It's pushing you. It's directing you into the, into the flow. It's block. See this? What did I say? Trust in divine detours. If there's a block put up, it is intentional by spirit so that you don't head away that you're not supposed to go. Right? So that you celebrate yourself and that you move forward. There's going to be plenty of new people for you to be amorous with this weekend. Trust that shit, yo. Trust that shit. And look at what's sitting right on the top of the tarot cards. Right on the top of the tarot cards is the lovers. This deck is primed for more messages. I'm going to flip over to Vimeo. Over on Vimeo, I'm going to pull a full romance reading uh, tarot spread for each individual zodiac sign. Understand, every single zodiac sign is going to get a tarot card and it's going to get a um, whispers of love. And I might even pull out my moonology card, y'all. Hell yeah. I'm going to choose each one of these cards per zodiac sign. If you're interested in that, head on over to Vimeo right now. I'll see you guys there.